The historical fiction novel that I decided to read and present on is called Mao and Me by Chen Jiang Hong. It is about the author and illustrator who grew up in China when uh, Mao Zedong was the communist ruler. The story is for children um, nine and up, which is a pretty good age group, I would think. Um, it's a very simple story. He uh, records very monumental things that are happening, like they're really just nothing because he was a child and he couldn't really comprehend how big and eventful and monumental they were. Um, but the illustrations show much more than the words. Uh, he is both the author and the illustrator. So the illustrations are much more prominent than the words. Uh, like you can see here, this is the apartment building where he grew up in and here's him with his grandpa grandfather. Um, so the words are that of a child because that is how he wrote the story of him growing up is in the um, focus of him as a child. But the illustrations really show an adult perspective. Um, they're a lot more complex than the words are. Um, the Cultural Revolution that happened in China um, shaped every aspect of Chen's life. He um, his sisters became a part of the Little Red Guard, but he was too young to go to school when Mao Zedong first became the ruler. And then later, he also goes to school and becomes part of the Little Red Guard. Uh, here it shows his grandparents burning all the old pictures of them in traditional uh, Chinese clothing and because they do not want to be caught for things that they had done in the past and be punished for that. Um, the Red Guard also burned books just like they did in um, Nazi Germany during World War II. Um, Chen goes through a lot of things in the book that are very, very depressing. Um, his grandfather passes away from old age he, his father has to go off to fight and be in the war. And at one part, he recounts his neighbor giving him candy. They didn't have a lot to eat um, when they were growing up because food was very scarce and they had rations because of it being a communist society. But his neighbor would give him candy, which he fondly remembers. But unfortunately, his neighbor gets caught and... The Red Guard takes her outside and chops her hair off and publicly shames her in front of everyone. And Chen witnesses this and is just very distraught and she, the neighbor eventually has to leave and she never comes back. So even though all of these things happen to him and he is very traumatized as a child, he takes everything, it seems, he seems to take everything in stride. Um... It basically goes through life like normal. He seems like a quite happy child despite everything that happened to him. And the story ends almost abruptly. I didn't really expect it, I suppose. But um, the story basically ends with uh, Mao's ending in rain once he passes away. And after he dies in 1976, uh, his father comes home. And then he just recounts that he started high school and he moved away from China and now does live abroad, but he still visits his family in China. Which really surprised me because I, you know, expected maybe them, there to be some more of a cultural message or a reflection on everything that happened in his childhood now that he's an adult. But everything is just taken as the, the straight narrative of his um, life and 
then the story ends, which I think is appropriate for the age group that it says that this is for, because um, children of that young of an age of 9 and 10, they're going to be in elementary school, 3rd or 4th grade, they're not going to understand the implications of everything that affected him, but I think as they grew older and maybe would learn more about the Chinese Revolution, they would understand all of the horrible things that happened and how everything that happened had implications on a larger scale in the country of China. So this was Mao and Me by Chen Zhang Hong.